Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Chinaman here. I'm here with another uh, box opening of Duo Saga. As you can see here, Konami has released uh, TCG ban list starting today, right now, on the 31st. There's going to be a lot of reprints of Imperial Order, Brionac, and there's going to be a lot of supports for our heroes, and there's a lot of new numbers in here. I'm super excited for this. Let's open this bad boys up right now. Uh, starters, I'm going to open one box. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of good cards in here. Also, numbers, too. If you guys want to collect numbers, that's also cool, too. Ooh, let's check this bad boy out. Just open on the side here. And you can see it comes out just like this. So when you open it, it comes with three packs inside. But hey, better than nothing. Uh, I'm going to start by opening the synchro ones first. So let me just put this aside right here. And let's open these bad boys up. Alright, so what do we got? We got, ooh, Junk Synchron. Ooh, another reprint of, uh, there's a lot of reprints too, I forgot to mention that, but dude, look at this, man. This is like, first edition Black Wing Gale the Whirlwind. Let's see. Ooh, uh, Death Shark. I think that, uh, this is from the XE's dimension. So, if you control no monsters, you can over summon this card without tributing. Once returned during your opponent's standby phase, this card's attack becomes double its current attack until the end of this turn. It's 14 attack, but I don't think no one's going to play it. Uh, let's see. Dibow Colonel. I think someone... I forgot who played this. I forgot it out. Necroid Synchron. So, you banish one and up to two tuner monsters from your graveyard and you have to use special one. Start a Synchro monster from your extra deck, whose level equals to the total number of mo banished monsters, but have its effect negated. This is special summon, is treated as Synchro summon. Okay. Uh, this is good so far, it's good. Uh, next, we're gonna open this up. Elemental Hero, uh, Honest, and Neos. I believe that's the word of it. Name of it, I mean. All right, so let's see what we got. Mirror Force, nice. Ooh, uh, DD Warrior Lady, Converging Wishes. So if you have far more dragon type monsters with different names in uh, graveyard, so so one star strike. Okay, this is a star strike, obviously. Uh, let's see, we got Saber Shark. I think this is from uh, Zexel. What's his name? Uh, Shark who plays it, and we got Dark Lore. Descent. So you pay half, uh, pay half your life points. Special summon up to two Dark Lord monsters from your graveyard in defense position with the same level as one face of monster that your opponent controls. All right. Last but not least, let's open uh, Yugi. All right. So we got woo Tor Guide from the Underworld. That's a start. Ooh, Armatile, the Chaos Phantom. Dun dun dun. I got a uh, clear effector, so if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro monster, draw one card. A synchro monster I use as a synchro material cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. Uh, I got diamond dust. So destroy as many water monsters as the field as possible, then inflate 500 damage to your opponent for each water monster destroyed is sent to the graveyard by this effect. I think I'm going to hold on to it for... for ooh, what's, what's this? Ooh! It's a new synchro monster for a Stardust, it looks like. Is it a Stardust? I don't know. Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna read more to you right now. So it's called it's called Cosmic Blazer Dragon. So it's one tuner, two or more non-tuner synchro. Uh, it has to be synchro summon. It cannot be special summon other ways. You only banish this card until the end phase to activate these quick effects. It's also a quick effect too. That's crazy. So first effect is when your opponent activates a card or effect, negate. And if you do, destroy it. The second one is when you your opponent wants to special summon a monster, they can summon and destroy it. And a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, the last effect is that when your opponent wants to declare an attack, negate it, and then end the battle phase. So it's pretty good right there. I think I might just hold on to that too. Alright, so that's it for our first one. Now we're going to go to our second one. So far, so good. Uh, I got Tor Guide. You know, that's, that's good. I got Mirror Force, but I don't think I'm going to use Mirror Force. I have a ton of them at home. So, uh, I'm just going to either give it to a friend or something. Alright. I was mostly hoping for numbers too, because I got number 70 in the first pack. Alright, so let's open this one. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so. Ooh! A reprint of Dark Arm Dragon, I'm known as Dad. That's pretty good. Uh, another reprint of Dark Magician, as always, but in a nicer form. And a synchro. 
Ooh, we got a second one, a Cosmic Blazing Blazer Dragon. A second one, a Deaf Shark in uh, Clashing Souls. So, during damage calculation, your opponent destroys monster battle and time is a genuine higher attack. Okay, I'm not gonna read these effects. Alright, next, <laughs> we got Yugi. God damn, I'm terrible at this. Alright, a reprint of Goyo Guardian, which is cool. Yes! This is a reprint of Brionac, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. So, if you and look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, too. So, uh, it's a tuner. Well, it has to be a tuner, non tuner. And you discard any number across the graveyard. Target the same number of your cards your opponent controls. Return it to your hand. You can only use one effect. Um, Not one effect. Uh, use this effect of Brionac once per turn. So, it's pretty cool so far. It's a reprint, too. So, it's only limited to one. So, I'm holding on to that. I got Skydive Scorch. Uh, Scorcher. So turn one element to your monster you, that you control. Destroy as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. When an attack higher than in the monsters, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack among those uh, destroyed monsters in a graveyard. Your choice, if tied. If a scholarship field card is in your field zone, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined original attack of those destroyed monsters in a graveyard. So that's pretty cool, I guess. This is in GX, of course, but dude, look at the way I'm moving it. It's beautiful right there. Alright, uh, we got Cosmic Flare. Of course, this is for Stardust, because Stardust is in the picture. Yes! Number 70, Mevalent, uh, Sim, Sin. So if you guys are trying to look for numbers, uh, you can get us from the box here, but look at the way it's, oh, it's beautiful. Holding on to that bad boy. And, uh, we got, <laughs> we got a little, one last pack. I'm always trying to, like, go after the box to open, and I forgot this pack over here. Oh, man, who knew? Alright, so let's go. Evolution Lager. Oh, a hero lives. Again, there's a lot of supports for uh, heroes. So for people who's trying to play heroes, there's, uh, I think, a few heroes here and also a reprint like this one. So I'm holding on to that. Power Wall. So, during damage calculation, when you would take battle damage from your opponent's attacking monster, send one card from the top of your deck to the graveyard, and every final jet roundup you are about to take. Also, you take no bad damage from that battle. And I got Sea Lord Amulet. So, uh, send this card to the graveyard during your opponent's third standby phase. And then after activation, one monster you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Oh, that's pretty good. For people playing water, it's pretty good. And I got, ooh, Guzuki. So this is like almost like Mizuki. So here's the fact. So during your main phase, you can set one zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can, you can banish one zombie type monster from your graveyard, except Kazuki, so one zombie type monster from your hand, you can only use one effective turn. I think this may be good. I've seen a few zombie decks and stuff like that now, so I think I might uh, put it in this pile right here. Alright, so we're done with our third, uh, second box. Now we're going to be opening to our third one. There we go. If you guys want to see more of the box openings that I'm going to be doing, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see if we can do more. Uh, I think next time, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, so. Three packs. I'm going to open this one first. Because I'm hoping to get numbers. I'm a number collector, so. You know. Ooh, what is this? Alright, we got a fusion. I saw. So, here we go. A Chimera Fortress Dragon. Beautiful. I'm keeping this. Road Decree. So, negate all trap effects. Uh, other trap effects on the field. Light Wing Shield. This is pretty cool too. I think this is a Utopia card. So, oh yeah, it is something like that. All right. So when a monster's effect is negated, uh, after one's effect, it becomes the end phase of this turn. Target when Utopia exceeds monster you control, it's time to become double as original time until the end turn. If a Utopia exceeds monster you would control would detach. Uh, when exceeds material to negate its effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. It's a quick play spell card too. So for people who's playing a Utopia or at least a Utopia deck, uh, it's pretty good. For Utopia. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I got a full armored Crystal Zero Lancer. Uh, so, uh, you can target XC's card by using a rank 5 wire monster to control its XC material. Uh, I'm not gonna read it actually. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm too lazy. And I got Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, this looks like a magician. I see a uh, dark magician there. So, when your monster declares an attack, 
you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy that card. Each player can set one spell or trap from their hand per turn. Monsters cannot attack the turn they were supposed to summon from your extra deck. During this draw phase, before you draw, you can give up your normal draw this turn. If you do, you add one monster from your game routine hand. Oh, it's a continuous spell card, too. All right, next. Let's see. We're going to be opening this one. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Ooh, Mizuki. This is go for a Gozuki. Go your Guardian. Another reprint right there, too. Uh, Sky Diamond is Scorcher. Good, good. Ooh, Chaos Scepter Blast. So, if you control a level 8 or higher spell cost type monster, you bash one card face down on a field face down. So, if this card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one magician of black chaos or a dark magician of chaos from your deck, but ignore summoning your conditions. And guess what, guys? It's a quick play spell card, too. <laughs> All right, what we got? Dark Summoning Beast. Uh, I don't know what this does. I'm just going to read right here right now. So, uh, you can tribute this card, special summon one Euro Lord Searing Haman. Or uh, reveal Lord Phantoms from your deck or hand. Ignore its summoning condition. Also, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Dark Summoning Beast once per turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard and add one Yura, Haman, or reveal from your deck to the hand. Ooh, this is pretty good. I might hold on to this actually. Alright, we got a last pack from the third box. Let's do it. Alright, so I got. Ooh, a reprint of Red Eyes Metal Flare Dragon. Uh, Red Eyes Dragon Metal Dragon. Darkness. Advanced Ritual Art, a reprint right there. And look how I'm moving. Oh, it's beautiful. What's this? Another one of Sky Jending Scorch. Chaos Tip to Blast. And a second one, a Dark Summoning Beast. I'm going to hold on to this. <sighs> All right, let's see. All right, so now we're done with our third box. We're going to be opening our fourth one now. Um, so far, I was hoping to go for Neos, or at least one number, which I got for number 70, and also a reprint of the Imperial Order. Let's see what I got. I might open some more boxes, I might buy some more, I don't know. Oh, man. Alright, three packs. Don't let me down. Alright, let's do this. Another reprint of Red Eyes, uh, Darkness Metal Dragon. Ooh! A reprint of Black Lusted Soldier on the way the beginning, but look at this. Oh, man. Guys, seriously, if you get this box, look how it is. You just move around. It's beautiful right there. All right. Another, wait, whoa, a number 94 Crystal Zero. All right, maybe I should take that Crystal Zero back, but I'm holding on to this one. Oh, whoa. Oh, I got Kazuki, but look at this. I just draw these two. I just got these two. Number 94, Crystal Zero, and Full Armor Crystal Zero, Lancer. I'm just going to hold on to these two, actually. Um, For people who do number collections, uh, if you're missing like 94 and 70, this box is a get. But you guys just get it for a trade or anything like that, go ahead. But once again, I'm just trying to get some stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. I was going to open this one. I got two more packs to go. All right. All right. I got it right here. All right, right. Keep in mind. There's like five packs per card in this pack, so yeah, just just a heads up. Ooh, you're a Lord of Searing Flames. It's a reprint from GX. I'm gonna hold on to this. Denny Land. Boom. Lightwing Shield. Boom. Ooh, Dark Summoning Beast. Hold on to that. And uh, I got a last one. Single Call. Target one monster in your graveyard. Spread summon it, but it's a Effects and negate it if any. If you do, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Storm, one dark dragon type or fiend synchro monster from your only using monsters you control as material, including the summoning monster. Alrighty. This is it. Alright, wait. I got one more here. Alright, one more. I got one Yura. I was hoping for her mind. Now that I look back. Oh my god! Speaking of her mind. Right here. So I was thinking about like putting this in my DDD deck because like it needs three continuous spell cards. And I'm like, oh, you know, I don't I could just get rid of these guys, play him, boom, just like that. But I don't know how it'll go, but I'm gonna hold on to this for now. It's oh, man, I never expected him on. I got a oh, a reprint of a dimensional fissure. So any monster sent to the Grimmer is banished instead. Only monsters, not spells and traps. 
Yes. All right. We got Alexei of the Heroes. So I'll return two future, uh, future monsters from your graveyard to the extra deck. Then list a hero as a material. Draw three. You can only use effect on Legacy per Heroes per turn. I think this could be good for heroes who's playing it, uh, especially for one of our team members. Uh, Phoenix King, he plays a lot of heroes and stuff in this, so this may be good for him because he needs a lot of draw power and stuff. So I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I got Bro Hunters. So when this card is normal or summon, out a level four light thunder type monster from your deck to the hand, except Bro Hunter. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna put it here and uh, reprint a Link Wing Shield. All right, guys. So I got one last box here. Let's make it useful. So far, I didn't draw Imperial Order. Or I'm about to hear Honest Neos. But, you know, I got my money's worth. Great. Alright, so. Three more packs. Let's do this. Alright. I reprint a Castell. Ooh. Feature Fusion. It's pretty good. Uh, during your standby phase, after this card's activation, show one feature material from your extra deck, uh, feature monster from your extra deck, and send a feature material listed from your deck to the graveyard. During your second standby phase, after this card's activation, feature summon one feature monster from your extra deck with the same name as the feature monster you just showed, and target it with this card when this card leaves the field. Destroy that target. When this target is destroyed, destroy this card. So, damn. Uh, Lightwing Shield. Farm or Crystal Zero will answer. Like to see the duelists. Nah, man. Alright, two more packs. Alright, we got Sukiyomo. Sukiyomi, I mean. Uh, I haven't seen this card for a long time. Chimera Tech. What the hell? Contract with Don Thousand. So when this card is activated, both players lose a thousand, and if you do draw one card, all cards that are drawn while well, this card effect is applied must remain revealed while. Well, when a player's uh, spell card in their hand is revealed by this effect, that player cannot no more summon or set monsters. You can only activate one contract with a thousand. I thought it was mostly when I saw contract, I thought it was DDDs. It's like contract with a gaze, contract with something, something. So all right, I'm just being stupid. And uh, ooh, a new number, number twenty-eight, Titanic Moth. I'm holding into this because I'm a number hunter. Devil Fair Shark. When this card is a uh, normal summon, you can target one little three or four fish type monster in your graves for summon that target defense mode. So, uh, for people who's planning to try to play Shark or a water deck, this is pretty cool, you know? Oh, the way I'm moving, it's beautiful. Alright, we got one last pack here. Do not let me down. For the love of God. Alright, let's do this. Whoosh. Ooh, Neo Spish and Grand Mold. That's not bad. Uh, Doom Caliber Knights. Dark, I mean, no. <laughs> contract. I got Dark Lord. You go back. So if this card is no more. So someone you can send one Dark Lord card from your deck to the grave. You only activate. All right. And last but not least, Bro Hunter. <sighs> All right, guys. So I didn't pull Imperial Order or Elemental um, Hero, Honest Neos, but this is what I got. As you can see, all the massacre from the pack and all the massacre from opening the box and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this opening pack. Please like and subscribe to Team Time Runners to do more of these opening packs, and I'll get back to you all later.